friends and welcome this is back to part two of what I was explaining about how deep and how far with all these creations from the beginning of even still to this day boggles the, even the smartest most intelligent scientists today and like I said before scientists yes they certainly do know a lot indeed of course I'm not a scientist and so they are they're very intelligent but like I have said on the part one of this video in certain ways you really pay attention when you watch some of these folks on TV and you pay attention just to how some of the things they talk about a lot of it is pretty much how where I'm coming from but they do know more but again like I said I'm just talking about such having more of an open mind when it comes to these kind of things I mean come on we have aliens of all kinds of crazy type sorts uh, for example now I'm gonna bring back talking you guys remember the Phoenix lights here in Phoenix Arizona a lot of you who live in Arizona we all have seen it when I was a kid I remember I seen it I mean it was nuts now what people don't realize is there was actual incident that really did happen which threw so many people off and again manipulated they yes the sighting we saw the sighting but then they did manipulate afterwards to distract people while what was else was going on was going on without them knowing and it is the craziest thing there was a movie made about this you guys and you have to go check it out and it's it's really crazy of how the story was put and it is truth i mean it's a real deal um just this all came out the information from luke air force base and definitely very interesting you guys and but the sad thing there was some actual families some young people that did get abducted and they never came back never and the creatures the way i would explain so freaking creepy because like i said this space is never ending and i, I think this is going to be the most biggest topic because I keep talking about space and the reason why, not just with the planets, the galaxies, the stars, you know, planet Earth, Pluto, Neptune, all, all of this you put together, including the aliens. Because it's like when you, like say, example, open a shoebox. What's inside that brand new pair of shoebox, you guys? You got a brand new pair of shoes, correct. But... What's outside of the box from the inside of that shoe box? You can't tell me that that's deeper in any way than what how I just explained this to you guys. I mean, there's so many of you. And like I said, thanks to a great viewer of mine. and Because I do. There's just those times I just, eh, I stop thinking about it. It's like, but you guys, it's extravagant. In its own way when you really do because who doesn't want to know I think if we all knew the truth every single one of us beings on this planet I, it would probably freak some people out it would probably just bizarre people but people like us would probably be so amazed because I would be intriguingly blown away my mind would just be where well, I gotta sit down I mean, but amazing, you know, and a lot of people don't think about this, you guys. I mean, really, the flat, the flat Earth theory. I, I'm not taking it because it's not true to me. It's not true, and they try to come up with these things. And I mean, you guys have no idea how much people believe about the flat moon. It's crazy. I mean, the, and I mean Earth. I mean, sorry about that. It mixes me up, you guys, because look at if Earth was flat, wouldn't the moon be flat? Wouldn't the sun be flat? Everything else would be flat. I mean, come on, the the moon is round, Pluto's round, Mars is round, 
Now, what's going to make it look round, also like a perfect marble, because of Earth's atmosphere covering all of this planet. So the atmosphere actually itself puts it in that more rounder shape. But Earth is not flat, though. With the atmospheric glow around it, you just, you can see, it's like, yeah, it's not flat. If it was from the images from the very first time, like I said, when that satellite was launched, all throughout the years, you guys, they went and put those out and then time, all these years later, all these years later, come on. The earth is flat. It's not. Now, but you guys, look at the galaxy. There is so much. I mean, we have aliens galore. There's beyond aliens. We're, you and I, we're like little bugs. So when you and I, we see like little ants and all these little tiny little bugs. That's us, you guys. But on this planet that we're on, those bugs look at us as we're the, we're just, whoa, you know. And I'm saying this because when you go outside of space itself, beyond the outside, what did it take to create space? What did it take to get that started and then create the inside of what you're looking at here? <laughs> now, this is just coming from my perspective you guys and my kind of thought of how i think of things as well scientists think things too and they think so far deep the most possible i mean everybody has to have an open mind and there's so many of you who love talking about this stuff who want to know from the very beginning who want to know how all this what is all this you guys it is something like you see in a movie and it is so dimensional 3D in a way. It's nuts. I mean, you can really think out of the box. And like I said, here we go. Here's Earth. Say, we got Earth right here. Okay, let's get the actual Earth. Let's get Earth, okay? And then you have the sun. But then... When we drive places and you say, hey, we're out in the middle of nowhere. You people, we are in the middle of nowhere. This planet is in the middle of nowhere. We are in nowhere to be nowhere. And space is never ending, you guys. With space alone, space just keeps going and going. No matter where at, it's all around. I mean... When it comes to galaxies, you got the Milky Way, you got all these crazy black holes, folks. The black holes is what blows my mind so much away, too. And scientists, there's some scientists, it's even come out where we still can't figure it out. And I'd say the same thing because as much as I thought about it and try to think it in a certain way, I just can't pull it off. Because I honestly really don't know. Just like scientists, they can't just say that is 100% exactly what's what. But they are dang freaking good. They come up with very great visions and all this other stuff. I mean, they are fabulous scientists. But there's more to it, you guys. Way more to it. Scientists know there's way more to it, but just some of the stuff boggles their minds like it boggles me with all how this was really created. It is very amazing. Now, you're going to have people say, I mean, don't get me wrong, yes, there's God. But there's more beyond him, ladies and gentlemen. There's way more to it than what you all read and what you all see in books. Yes, he's very real. But to a certain extent, as we're not being told the whole thing above. And me bringing this topic up and kind of 
get you to sit in a certain vision state moment and really think with your mind where your mind just opens up even deeper and you're like, wow. I mean, for real. Out of all these planets, ladies and gentlemen, all this extraterrestrial the aliens, I mean... Sometimes you just wonder, it's like, it's like almost you see in the movies, it's like, look at the Independence Day mothership from part one of the movie when that entered Earth, okay? Look how massive that mothership was, okay? Now, take all its little minions, how they all come flying out of the ship, remember that moment? All of them. This is where it gets deep. You guys are going to be blown away. Now, all of those little minions, I'm going to call them minions, all right? They all come out. Now, when they go back in to that huge, massive mothership, think of those like stars and planets, and it's deep, isn't it? Very deep, and it gets very bizarre when you start really thinking about it. That's the best way for me I can kind of put to just give you an idea. I'm not saying that, but I'm using that as an example. And so thanks to my great viewers who actually even brought this statement up because just talking about aliens and planets and space and just everything in general period from the beginning of you name it there is so much to all of it i mean i try to i'm trying to explain this as for because like i said i did a part one video of this and this is just kind of my thoughts this is just was just coming out of my perspective of what i think and just i'm just thinking with an open mind ladies and gentlemen Everybody, everybody does. And we all love to hear everybody's differences. There's nothing wrong with that at all. It's like, hey, that was great information as well to the other person. And great open minds, so so forth. But really, you guys, I want you tonight. I, would, I want to hear people's comments on this. Come on, please hook it up here, you guys, on Info Entertainment Reviews. One, whether you're a Bible reader or I don't care, whatever, who doesn't matter. I'm I'm an open reader to anybody's comments. I don't care. It's everybody's comments are good, and that's how I personally look at it. That's the way I look at people's comments. It's not this person's got the better information. This person's this. I look at everybody's comments and I take it all in at one because everybody's got great comments, you guys. So tonight, think about this. There's more than just to a big star that just blew up and Big Bang Theory happened. So there's tons more to it. It gets deep. Yes, it's so deep. Some of it may not make sense to some people. Maybe some people just haven't put it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but you're learning. If You know, I mean, but use that part of that mind perspective. Just tonight, just sit back, relax, and just really think, wow. Imagine like when you open your, your cupboard in your kitchen. You open the drawer. What's inside that drawer when you open it? You know, it's full of things. That drawer is full of stuff. You close your drawer. And all that's inside that space. But we're in the kitchen. But what's outside? You see where I'm coming from? So space... Like a shoebox. It's pretty crazy. This is the best way I could put it for all of you guys, okay? And I know a lot of you are very going to much enjoy this video because this is really new information I brought and just a great topic and amazing. So I'm glad I got to just explain and bring to you guys just a little bit of something about all of this. And so definitely, I mean, there's there's certainly more to it. And like I said, when it comes to creating, you guys, me, I'm going to say I believe all of this is some form of an extraterrestrial creation, including all of us, the way we all evolved, including the man 
in the book. You know, it's very magical, and not even the surf, the smartest person in the world will even know the exact. Extraterrestrial is real. Aliens are real. Zeta aliens are real. You name it. And you know what? People, when you come and start thinking about further, deeper things, like there's people out there that think about different space creatures. I mean, you name it. You just don't know. You think you, all of you always think out, out the box, and that's great, and keep doing it. Because really, if there's four-legged alien creatures, which are real, I'm not kidding, um... Just imagine what's out there, you guys. There's something outside of space. We're on the inside in the middle of nowhere, and who knows how... F I mean, it's impossible to tell how far space goes. But then, here we are on this planet that we think just... I mean, it is. We're, we are very tiny. We're, 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 we're just a little, little tiny dot of what's out there but i don't know i hope you guys enjoy this one i really do that you, you put me in deep thought about this just to talk about this story and just bring it up but it's this is true stuff i'm talking about just bringing my input you guys i'm being real about all this talk and there's a lot of people out there and i hope you enjoyed it also and thank you for bringing that up today again that was really amazing, the topic. I did not expect that for today. That was really, really cool to have such kind of that interest and being to be able to think so deep like that, too. That is freaking amazing. Awesome. And let me know what you all think, people. When, when you go to bed or whatever it is you're doing, just lay down and think. Be like, man, it's going to blow your mind away. I'll probably be hearing some stuff from crazy stuff. But you guys... What's outside of this blackness? What is it? It's so dark, even though with all this stuff in here. But what's outside of it? That's where it gets crazy. And that's pretty dang deep, you guys. That's very deep thinking right there. You got to admit. So, like I said, I wanted to do the best that I could on this video. And like I said, just a little bit of input. Just what I... This is just almost like an imagination. But it's not, though, because it is real. S space isn't just there either. Because there's something outside of our box. This is IR, Info Entertainment Reviews. Lots of love, everybody. And thank you. And I hope you all enjoyed. Thumbs up. Don't forget to share. If you guys have requests, come on, shoot me up some requests because I'd be glad to do some research for you and talk if it's not on here. So feel free to let me know. Got the love here. You got your support as well. Thank you, guys. Here I are.